Hi everyone, welcome to this water tower build video. I hope you really, really enjoy it and I'll see you after. So it's been a while since my last one, but finally it's here, the build video for the water tower. So this is the awesome water tower kit as you receive it, rusty and ready for your apocalyptic games and dioramas. By far the most detailed and multi-piece kit I've produced so far, it can be built as a one, two or three leg design based on your own needs and looks incredible on the table. So let's get started. This is the way that I built it, but I'd like to hear how other people have got on who've built it too. But I started by building the main structure, which is the legs. The legs have three sets of bolts, which indicate where the braces attach. The legs have a small gap between the very top and the first set of bolts, and the base has a larger gap from these bolts to the bottom. So line up and lay down all of the legs together with the base of the legs closest to you. We can start adding the braces below the bolts at each of the three sets. These will be used to attach the struts so they can be push fitted into place and we'll do this for all of the legs. And remember, only add the braces and struts you need as you mainly want the lower or the middle braces for your tables. And please share your builds using the links below. It's so awesome seeing what people do with the pieces I make. The braces are slightly angled at the sides so they can fit flush against the legs. You may have to sand them down a little just to get them to fit perfectly. At the top, attach one end of the smallest strut to the top of the brace clip. Then continue to add the lower struts the same way, working your way down to the largest one. Once dry, take another one of the legs and add some glue to the brace and the edge where it will meet the strut and work your way down and leave it to dry. Do the same for the other legs, you have two sides of the tower legs completed. Then we can use one of these to add the remaining struts along each edge. I'm going to use some glue. And use the braces to hold these in place. So once complete, you'll have one side section and one section with nine braces attached. And again, just make sure the glue is dried before this next step. Take the main body with the nine braces and add some glue to the lower brace ends. And also please excuse the yellowing from my gloves. This one hasn't been clear coated, but when you receive them, they will have been clear coated for you. Then place down and carefully place the other leg section between the braces where it attaches to the piece and take your time as it is fiddly. Work your way up until all the pieces are in place and again use the braces to help hold it together while it dries.
It's looking really cool at this point. I was really excited when I got to this part. It's so far from the work I did previously where nothing ever left the screen. And I just really enjoy making these for people. And I hope everyone loves what I do. Now don't worry if the tire isn't perfectly balanced. It survived the apocalypse. It's not meant to be perfect. And I always prefer to add a bit of story into my work so they look right in the world where they sit. However, when we add the feet, you can adjust them so the tower sits as you require. Push fit these and glue them in place or they can be left unglued so it can be packed safely if you're taking it to a local club. Here is the base of the main tower. This came out so great, I can't believe the detail I got from an FDM print. The slots are used to position and hold the legs to place it down and line up the legs to fit. I'm not gluing mine as it's heading to an exhibition next week. Take your time and once that's in place, we can really start seeing it coming together. Now let's take the main tower and glue that into place. And position it so it's centered on the base that we just attached. Next add the lid and it's complete and ready for your tabletop or dioramas. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I've got another one coming soon where I make a rustable solution. You can see on the water tower, some of the surfaces are white, which is the top surface of the mold, which don't get dusted with the iron powder. So I've got another video coming out which shows you how to make a really nice rust solution. So you can, you can complete the whole thing so it all looks completely waste apocalyptic as it should do for Gaslands and other similar dioramas and tabletop games you might be playing. If you enjoyed that, please leave me a comment and let me know how I'm doing. I work really, really hard on this stuff and I like to engage with the community and I like to, I like to see what people think of what I'm doing and give me ideas for some of the other things that you might want that aren't available at the moment. Please let me know. And uh, yeah, use the links below and I'll, and I'll have another video up soon. Thanks very much.